Hey, good evening, Altrincham, and I'm in Timpley Village this evening for my little walk around, as you can see behind me. I've got I'm in Timpley Village, so yeah, it's just quite strange doing a walk in Timpley Village this evening. Um, I was brought up in Timpley, so I just thought I'd come and do a live show in Timpley. So, anyway, forget about that, you know that I'm in Timpley now. So yeah, um, I'm here just quite a lot of things just uh, that are going on around Altrincham and Timpley. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you a little brief one what's happening. There you go, the, the Stonemason's Arms is having a refit. <laughs> We're getting a woohoo with that, as you can see. So it hasn't changed too much, we've got a Costa's there, we've got St. Louis Local. Well, Rooks used to be right in front of you there. So I'm just, uh, I'll just walk, just walk you up, up here actually. This is a sensible. And uh, just, just walk across the road. There you go, a little bit more. I'll walk across the road again. I'm just doing a Chris run, run about tonight instead of uh, a Chris walk about. Just, and as you can see here, we've got Frank Sidebottom in Timpley. Say hi, Frank. Woohoo! <laughs> so then, then, then you've got, oh, crying out loud. And then now you've got the Hill Our Restaurant as well. Hillel, remember the Hillel restaurant in Timpley as well? That's changed quite a lot too, inside. So as you can see. Oh, happy birthday, Joe. Um, I'm not looking up that, I'm not turning back because uh, there's some people that I don't want to see at the moment. If I can get the number, no, I can't actually. I'm not turning back. I can show you quite a little glimpse of what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so it's not too bad if we could just go. Oh, we've got some a little bit of on on phone. New shop coming, another cafe. And you've got the chip bar in Timpley. There you have got a few. That's where the, the old cycle shop used to be and now it's a mobility shop. <laughs> For little scooters. I'll just show you a little bit what's going on. I'm just making my head my, heading my way up to uh to Alton in this way. So it's something. Hi Karen, it's alright. I'm I will speak to you in a second. Um I just want to show you uh if if anyone remembers this place here, because I love going in this shop up here now. Uh, Timpley Aquatics. Does ever anyone go in there? It's a great place. It's quite funny and fluffy animals. There you go, Timpley Aquatics. It's all lighting up for Christmas. Here 
can see it's all ready for Christmas. <laughs> and you've got the Quarry Bank Mill pub there. Does anyone like going in there for a good drink? <laughs> so guys, yes, uh, I've just had a little walk through uh, Timpley Village this evening. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going just yet till my camera falls off like it did on, on Sunday when we found it all that big mess uh, in the Stamford Quarter, which is was a bit of a mess but by little kids that should have been at home. Um, if, you, if it was your little kid that did ripping out the uh, the plants you should be ashamed of yourself because they should be in bed at that time of night I was disgusted by it because Ultimate in Bloom are a, a, a community that put flowers around Altrincham and people like that just rip them out just like oh we don't care you're only doing it doing it well it, it costs money to do that all sorts of things but anyway it doesn't matter about that does it because I'm Chris from Altering News, as you know. And a lot of things have been changing with Altering News in the last week, which is quite a, a strange thing, you know, with, like, me and me wahooing and Andy going, Hi, Andy. Well, Andy, what should I say about Andy? Oh, I don't know about that. She shouldn't be allowed, but then again, it's a lot of gossip, isn't it? It's like a soap in Altering News. It really is. It's like... Oh, if you were if you were me last week, God, you'd be kicking kicking each of us asses in. But anyway, it doesn't matter about that, does it? You know. <laughs> yeah, I prefer a, a walk around. But guess what, Steve? It's cold tonight, my Mister. It is a bit cold, but it doesn't matter. That's why I enjoy it because next week I'm going to have a nice big coat on. Oh yeah, nice big fluffy coat. <laughs> but anyway it's quite strange actually you know it's like oh we've got so much going on with Altrincham and everything else and it's just like oh I can only spread myself so much it's like last week with the Altrincham uh, Altrincham light turn on uh, as I was hosting there with Altrincham Limited wow what a big day busy day that was it was like wow Chris can you go there can you do this it's like with the Star Wars taking pictures for them and all sorts of stuff you know and then other things it was like uh, what was the other one that I did it's like doing a live show for Altrincham News my team weren't there to help me woohoo woohoo Okay then, some nut, some nut has just been, just been a, been a muppet. But anyway, as I was going on about, about the light switch on last week, um, yeah, it was just myself doing that. Woohoo! Anyway, just been to the chippy there. <laughs> But you know, it's, it's all fun and games. But anyway, I'm going to get on with my work. Like I was telling you about Altrincham. Oh, it's just so busy. You know, it's like, oh, like this. By the way, guys, if anyone's local on Saturday and you'd like to help Altrincham Bloom, um, please make some cakes and biscuits and... All sorts of things because we're, we're, we're selling cakes and that at the uh, Barclays Bank on uh, Saturday morning from 10 till 2. So if you'd like to donate some cake and biscuits to us, that for, that's for the Ultimate in Bloom to make some money so we can replant them plants that people ripped out on Sunday night. That's what I mean. All this money could have gone to something else, which it is, by the way. I can't tell you at the moment what's going on. But it just really annoys me, things like that. You know, Karen, the thing is, I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, you know, it's like Ultimate and Bloom are trying to make some money to, to develop things and new things for the town. And But then the little kids, like on Saturday, Sunday, ripping plants out of planters... We've got to replant again because them stupid little kids were just 
weren't thinking. I, it really annoys me thinking about it and talking about it. But anyway, they're kids from Altrincham. How embarrassing is that? But anyway, I'm carrying on. Um, so I, I will be in the bonk, Barclays Bank with uh, Andy on Saturday morning. Um, Saturday morning. Yes, Saturday morning. Around 9, 10 o'clock I'll be there with cakes. Um, thank you to Grantees. Uh, thank you to Honeybee, uh, Two Brothers, uh, Sugar Junction. There's so many uh, restaurants and cafes that have donated cakes to Altering and, and Bloom for Saturday. Thank you very much for that. Um, also, uh, I might be doing a little live around the cake sale if you if you're at home or you're not doing anything just tune in and, and we'll be Andy myself be there Andy's on till 12 I'm on till 2 Jo won't be there because she's busy and Kate's busy too so that's fine I'll just make my time for Ultimate News anyway which I normally do um, so that's what's going on round with us um, also, yeah, as you were saying, I was about telling you about changes around Altingham News. Um, if you've got a nice business in Altingham um, and you'd like to promote it on our page, uh, can you uh, message us at chris at altingham.news because I might have a little, uh, I can help you there to get your business out there and help you. Um, it's just, uh, we're trying to build Altingham up Altringham News up from studio work to different places around Altringham. Um, so I just thought I'll tell you, tell you what's going on. You know, it's like just trying to help. And other things like that's going on with Altringham News is that everyone's just like up in the air at the moment and it's, it's getting me down a bit. But anyway, I don't care because I'm still doing the same as me. I'm still doing what Chris is best at. Woohoo! Um, so no one can't get rid of that because and that so you know ow sorry it's cool and uh, yeah next Thursday I will be live with Andy at uh, Radio Wishing Well uh, with Mike Williams again so I'm looking forward to that Uh, you see what I mean we're always busy Andy's busy always trying to get everyone under attention and stuff it's like Wait a minute, one minute. I can only do so much at a time. It's like, it's like, I don't know how to run my own company. It's like, well, okay, then I'll just take it under your hands. It's like, okay. But I was just so annoyed. Anyway, forget about that. I'm just, just being me at the moment. I don't care anyway. Oh, anyway, I'm here at the moment. I'll show you where I am. I am just here. There you go. There's the hare and hounds. So anyway, yeah, as, I, as, I'm, ooh, as I'm still just waiting to, to cross over at the lights, um, just quite a lot of things going on with Old Tringham. You know, we are still looking for people to join the team and help myself and Andy uh, trying to build this up together. It is a bit difficult at the moment because we're all stressed, which is the word, I think, and uh, everyone thinks which is best but I don't care because Chris Chris does what Chris does and everyone is supporting me which is thank you very much for the support over the last few over the week Um, you know who you are and uh, I am taking advice off you to listen to other people which is fine which is cool but anyway I'm just just it's like it's actually like watching a soap tonight isn't it Chris and Timpley and Altringham Oh, you know, it's like I enjoy I enjoy walking around and doing what Chris is what Chris is best at. But the thing is, when I'm out on my own, like on a day off or something, I get stopped and go, "Are you that guy from Altingham News?" It's like, "Yes, I am." It's like, "Woohoo, have a selfie!" You know, I can't help being that famous, and then people think that I'm trying to get myself noticed. Well. I'm here. I really don't care. I'm here. I'm on the camera. That's my job. Because people enjoy what I do, you know. And I'm just like, 
Whoa, hang on a minute. This, I'm doing this out of my own time. I have a job. I could work extra hours at Sainsbury's, but I don't because I'm trying to push up this and then people stop taking it under my feet. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? You know, it's like, I'll try and work with me and it's like, no, I won't. You know, it's like... Oh, just walking past the Timpley Sports Club now. You know... A lot of people know what's going on anyway, so I'm not being quiet on that side because I don't care. So, yeah. Anyway, we've got a lot going on this weekend. We've got the bake sale. Um, and then on Sunday night, we've got Andy and myself on the sofa in the studio. So hopefully you guys can tune in and watch myself as uh, I do have a lot of support out there and I, I appreciate that big time. Because I don't know what I'll do without you guys like pushing me to do what's best. It's not just myself. I try and do what I can do. It's like I'm, a, I'm an Altingham host. Um, I work for Altingham in Bloom, Altingham News. Uh, I try and, you know, try and do other things. It's like tomorrow as well. Um, uh, oh, what's it called? Open Studio. That's that's another that's another place in Altingham opposite. Um, Subway. Oh, there's a there's an ambulance behind me. Um, called Open Studios by Joe Crushing. I'm um, going to have a look from there. Uh, it opens at five and music starts at seven. There's a little bit more information on the page that I added uh, yesterday or, or today. You know, I've I've lost what I've, I've added over the last few days. Been really busy because everyone keeps controlling me, and it's like, what am I doing wrong here? You know, I'm trying to do what I can do. You know, I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Oh, yeah. And I'd like to thank um, one of my friends, Luke May, for a printer that's been donated to Altingham News. Um, that was fabulous of you, mate. Um, so, you know, try and do everything. Oh, God, this is different, walking. I've walked all the way from South Trafford College to up down here now because I'm on my way to the commun- uh, the committee meeting of Altam in Bloom which we are very uh, unhappy with and what happened on Sunday so just remember if you saw anything that happened on Sunday night time uh, please let us know and uh, we'll pass that on to the police um, also quite a lot of things um, I don't know I'm quite lost for words this evening Altingham. it's like you know Oh dear. Anyway, I'm actually walking past the old hall now. I'll just show you where I'm walking to. See you at the old hall now. There you go. The old hall. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just walking my me, me way back now to uh, Altrincham. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, Andy, uh, if you want to see what happened on Sunday, um, just go back to the live show from Sunday, which was me on my own, which was quite a shock to Altingham, so watch it back and then uh, you'll see why I'm quite really angry about it, because it really upset Altingham and, and myself, but anyway, that's, I'm actually just going to stop now guys, but I uh, hope you've had a lovely, a lovely day and have a lovely weekend, well tomorrow it's Friday, woohoo, <laughs> it's Friday tomorrow, 
So uh, hope you're having a lovely, a lovely weekend. And don't forget bake sale on on uh, Saturday at the uh, the uh, the Barclays Bank in on George Street because I'll be there serving you cakes and everything else, yummy, yummy cake cakes. So uh, I'll see you all very soon, Altrincham, and uh, keep um, checking our page and our posts and stuff. And uh, we'll see you all very soon. So that's myself, Chris from Altrincham News. Good night.